Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you retouching. This so this is my last uh, video for the week, and I'm going to show you how to retouch a picture or anything that you want. You want to retouch? My normal we normally retouch pictures, videos taken by correct phones and those kind of things yes don't worry just knock it look at the tray to retouch you get headache use correct and beautiful pictures okay so let's just go into it <laughs> First of all, let me just come to my Photoshop and I'm going to use Photoshop for the retouching and it will be beautiful. So let's go to file and open it. And this is the picture. So this is the picture, the girl picture that I've downloaded from net and I want to use it for the retouching. So I've opened it, I've just opened it on my Photoshop. So what I have to do is start doing. So this, I'll duplicate the layer, that particular picture into two one two it's okay for me then i'll bring in this one color color okay then i'll rename this one texture okay we i want to be fast so keep following so i'll close up this one and i'll select this one then i'll come to filter then i go to noise then i'll go to dusk and what scratches so this way so for here what you need to do is that look stop looking at this whole picture and look at this this one look at this one so what you need to do is to just drag it around to see where you can find the what is the name where there is more pimples on the this thing on the face where you can find so many pimples pop up very big big ones just check on that picture and look at that piece then you select that one so that you'll be doing what's watching that one what we need to do is that the radius you have to increase it so that you can't see anything like pimple on the body on the face again that's what we just have to do so you just have to move it in it depends on how you have to do it you see you can do it like this but it's too much i don't like it that way so what i'll do is that i'll just leave it at five okay i'll just leave my own at five it's okay for me then the threshold i'll leave it zero then i'll click okay so right now you have just do something to this picture which is the color so you come back and activate this one so that you change the mood the blinding mood to what to linear light okay then you come back to image you come and click on image then you come and apply image this way then this is the setting that we have to do again this one the source you leave it how it is the layer you change it to color and that color is this one you get that yes and the blinding you change the the multiple to what to subtract you get that to subtract then you come to scale the scale we have two to four scale either one or two so you make it two you get that then you come to offset then you leave the offset to one two eight you get that yes that is your opacity you leave it at zero this one this one just leave it then you click okay so right now we have done something to the picture you see that so grouped these two just hold shift and select and group it Control g Control g to group it then you call this one frequency separation so this one is what frequency separation so the next thing i have to do is to come back and select the color this thing then i'll come and select a tool called here a laser tool then i'll select that one then the feather on top here i'll make it 20. simple then what i have to do now is to start 
making the face smooth so i'll select some parts parts here yeah, parts parts all yes so what i have to do to just select it so i'll select it like this select it like this select it like that this way then i'll come to filter then i'll go to blur then i'll come to gaussian blur then what I have to do now is that I have to increase my radio so that I can get the smoothness. Okay, so I'll just keep smoothing. So while we really check whether it's okay, then keep moving. So for my own, I'll leave it at 40. It's okay for me. Then I'll click. Okay. Then you come back and select this one over there okay then you come to filter blur gas and blur then you leave that one to 40 then you come and select this side okay this way then filter blur gas and blur and leave that one to 40 then you come and select the nose part Okay. this is the nose part this way then you come to filter blur and then come to dozen blur so this one i don't want to leave it at 40 because i don't want the, the nose to be narrow okay so i'll move it like seven i'll leave my own at seven okay then that one is okay for me you see that so you see that the picture is changing gradually so i'll come and do something to over here too okay then i'll come to blur then i'll make that one 40. you get that then i'll have it like this so it's you just have to check where you think that you should make that place more distant maybe you just have to so you just have to go through the picture and make those changes so over here i just want to do something to that place too then i'll come to play go to garden play then like this then maybe the house over here you can decide to leave it or you do, you do it okay so that's why you have to have to do it okay and like this you see that then this way so I so when you do that you see you have gradually changed the picture to different things so right now i have changed the picture like this uh, let me come and close up this one and see the effect this was how the picture is and this is what i did this that this that i love it so when you do something like that you can save it up always save your work whilst you are doing so this is just a process of retouching you have retouched the picture like that yes okay 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 and it's beautiful so the next thing i have to do is to remove the pimples uh on the body so i'll just move come here then i'll come and select first of all come and select the texture layer then you come and select there is clone stamp tool over here then you select that one then this is the pimples i want to remove so what we need to do is that firstly here there's no pimples so you hold alternate and then you click once then you come here and remove it and remove it you get that so that is how you do to remove all those distance on the face okay that yes so you can keep doing to remove all those distance on the skin without any sorry we have made problem okay let's come back okay yes so this is how we have to do you get that so you can come back over here then you hold alternate then you remove that one too you get that you remove it 
so this is how we remove uh, chicken pulse or how we call it this is how we remove pimples pimples okay so I'll hold shift then there is one here the lady doesn't have it more but that's much more worse so let's get some of it so that for the tutorial sake um, so that is how the chicken pulse were removed so then after you do something like this what you need to do is that you can add something that we called if the eyes is not white but you want to white you just want to white the eyes then you do that then if you want to white the teeth then you can over and do that one too yes but for this tutorial not to be long what i have to do is that i'll give you another video on how to change the eyes color in the uh, what is the name the teeth color making it white yes teething making it whitening the eyes and the teeth i'll show you how to do that but what i have to do is that i just want to change the picture i just want to add some filter to it like color grading i just want to grade the color so that the color will not be like this so what i have to do now is that i'll just come over here then click okay now will come to gradient map like this that is what i have right now so i'll change the listing over there then i'll choose the black and white it's okay for me then the gradient type over here i'll make it noise then the roughness i'll make it zero okay then options for restrict colors i'll click okay add transparency i'll click ok then i'll click ok then the next thing i have to do is to change this one so i'll change the blinding mood to what to soft light like this you get that then i'll come and click over here then what i have to do is that you have to be watching the paper hey, sorry the picture over here was clicking ram around your eyes okay so you click 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 just clicking keep clicking to get a picture that is beautiful and you know a filter that is beautiful for your picture you get that you can see that this one is very beautiful and i like it but let's keep clicking yes 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 so and this one too is beautiful you get that it's very very beautiful and i like that one too sorry okay okay so you can keep clicking to get a beautiful no just look at this one too that one too is very beautiful you get that then let me use this one for now so you can use this one but what you need to do is that when you see that the, the filter over there is too much then you come and reduce the opacity to 50 something like 50 or any any anyhow you want it to be then you have it like this so you can't group this one and this one like this then you have a picture you have your retouching picture like this so let's see the transformation let's let me move it in let me just zoom it out zoom it out okay it's okay so when i click see the picture and see the transformation very beautiful look at this look at that look at this look at that it's very beautiful so that is how we do that so keep following me on my youtube tutorials so that i'll show you more and more of retouching uh, whitening the eyes and the uh, what is the name the, the teeth uh, putting some lips uh, some lips glue on I know a whole lot of things Photoshop can easily do it so thank you very much for watching this is ABM graphics bye bye you